In this video, I'm going to show you how to find matching values into worksheets or into lists. And we'll start with something a little basic and then we'll go into more advanced subjects. Let's start with basic two lists. So we have this little list on the left and this little list on the right. And if you pay attention, you'll see that IDs here. See, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is missing here and 10 and some names attached to them. And then on the right, we have also those IDs and some of those match, see these two IDs are here. Some of those don't match. So for example, three, four are not in this list. Five is here, but it's not here. So six is in both, seven. So you see the ideas. So some are in both lists, some are in just this list on the left, and some IDs are just in this right list. So we'll see how we can find which items from this list are in this list on the right. So there are a few different ways of doing this. We'll start with some basic options and then later on we'll move into using Power Query, which is a add-on for Excel or if you're in 2016, it should be available built in. So you don't need an add-on. So let's start with doing this using a function called match. So you can do this with match, you can do this with VLOOKUP. I prefer to do this with match, but I'll show you both options. With match function, I'm gonna go here and type equals match. And then the first thing in our match function is lookup value. So my lookup value is gonna be this, this one. So I'll be searching this ID in this list of IDs on the right to see if it's there or if it's not there. So if I click on this one, that's what I'm searching for, comma. Now I'm searching for that ID in this list of IDs on the right. So I'm gonna highlight that range on the right and I'm gonna lock it by pressing F4. Now I'm gonna do comma and then the last thing is what type of match this is. So this is gonna be exact match. So I'm gonna do zero, which is our exact match, close parentheses, hit enter. So that gives me one, whatever that means. So we'll see what that means in a second. So I'm gonna drag it down to see what I get. So you can see how we get one, two, and then we get NA, NA, and then we get four. So what do these numbers mean? This means, this one, means we were searching for this one in this range on the right, and it started looking for one, and it found it, and it was number one in that list. So here, for example, number uh, six that we're looking for, it says it was number four in the list. So it says, I went through here and it wasn't the first one, it wasn't the second one, it wasn't the third one, it was number four, so we get four. And that's what match does. And if it doesn't find anything, it's gonna give us NA. NA means it wasn't able to find that in the other list. So basically everything that's NA, it's not a match. Everything that's a number, we're able to find it. To make this a little easier, we can convert this to trues or falses. So you can do this by basically taking this match function and putting inside of a formula is number. And is number is a function that will look at the result and if it is a number, it will give you a true and if it's not a number, it will give you false which means in our case, everything that's NA, it's not a number, so we should get falses. So if I hit enter, so that's true, it's a number. If I copy this down, see true, true, false, it wasn't a number, so it's false. So basically what we're getting is true means it was in the second list, false means it was not in this other list. And then later on, you can just label this column and then you can just apply, go under data, apply filter, and just filter it to just trues or falses, meaning if you do true, this means those are the ones we were able to find in the other list. If you do false, it means these are the items that were not in this list on the right. I'm gonna take those filters off. So that's using match function together with is number. Now, first of all, before I move away from this match function example, let me just go back to that match function and just go over really quickly why it's important that you lock 
this range. So if you remember what I said is when you highlight the range, make sure you lock it, which is where I pressed F4, or you can just go and add a dollar sign for E column, row two, E column, and row seven. So four dollar signs. Now, if you don't do those locks and you drag it down, see now I'm getting more NAs. And the reason for that is that if I don't lock that range, if I'm dragging my formula down, for example, halfway down, see, this is moving for down, but the whole range here is also moving down. So now instead of searching it in the whole list, we're searching for it in half of our list. So we're not finding it. This is why it's so important to always lock these ranges. So I'll go ahead and lock it, drag it down. This should do it. So is number, We'll put this match function in it, and that gives us trues or falses. Some people like to do this using a function called VLOOKUP because, well, VLOOKUP seems to be more popular than match for whatever reason. So let's do this using VLOOKUP. So I'm gonna start equals VLOOKUP. So I'm gonna search for this one number, comma. I'm searching for that number in this list again, so I'm highlighting that list of numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and press F4 again, similar to our match formula, comma. Now VLOOKUP has column index number because in VLOOKUP the range could be a table. So in my VLOOKUP that table is just one column. So I'm just gonna select that column, one, comma, and this is an exact match. So you can type either false or you can also do zero similar to how I do it in my match function. That will mean exact match. Close, hit enter, and let's just drag this down. So what happens with VLOOKUP is that we're getting the same sort of results, only now we're basically just returning what we find. So if we find the one, we're gonna return the one. If we find a two, we return two. If we find six, we return six. But when it's not available, like three and four, we don't find it, so we get NAs. So now we get NAs for things that basically are not in the list. The only thing is that now you're not gonna be able to use is number anymore because we're lucky our IDs are numbers in this list. But for you, it might be that these IDs are not numbers. So in those cases, this could be a bunch of text that you're returning. So what do you do? Well, go back here and what you can do, you can put this VLOOKUP formula inside of a formula called is error. And that checks if something is an error or not. So I'm gonna close that parenthesis in the end. And basically what it means is that every time it's NA, that's gonna consider that as an error, which means it's gonna give us true for errors and false for the ones that are not errors. So if I hit enter, see false, double click, that works. So now it's kind of the same thing, only the reversed logic. What we have with our match function, everything that was true, it was everything that we were able to find in the other list. And everything that was false, we were not able. In this case, it's the opposite. Everything that's true, we're not able to find in this list. Now, if for whatever reason you don't like that, you can take this whole thing and also put it inside of a function called not, and wrap it around it, hit enter, and double click, and not is just gonna reverse trues to falses and falses to trues. So we're gonna end up getting the same thing. So everything that says true, it means it was in this list. Everything that says false means it's not. And then you can apply your filters and clean it up. Now, obviously, if you're trying to do the opposite, you're trying to see which ones of these are in this list, you would just do this here. Here you would do your new column and you will say equals match. And we're searching for this comma now in this range of numbers, F4 comma, and this is exact match. So zero, close, enter. And then again, we can just put it inside of a function is number and close that and double click to send this down. And this will just tell us that this one and this one, which are false, were not in this list. And this is how you can find things that are in the other list or they're not. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. So delete this, delete this. So that's our match field lookup scenario. So now let's do this on a larger list. So we have this tab. So here we have a list and we have this account numbers. And for example, if you look at this person, we can go to this another list tab and we'll find that that person is also in this tab. But if we go for the second person, let's see if that person is in there. Uh, seems like they are. So the second person is there too. It's just a couple down. So this third person is also here. So the point is that at some point we're going to find somebody from this list that is not in this other list. And we need to basically just find those results. So for example, this one, see, if I'm looking for this person, it's not in this list. So now I have basically these two lists. They're on two different tabs. And to find out who is on the other tab, we're going to do the same thing. So here there are these comments. Usually you probably want to avoid having comments in this type of things. But if you have, I mean, it is what it is. So you're going to have to live with it. So I'm going to insert a column right here because I want to be able to easily just drag it down. I'm going to do filter and I'm going to create my match formula. So I'm going to start with my is number. That's that. And inside of this, we'll have our match function and our match function. We're going to search for this account, comma, that account we're looking for on the other tab. So I'm going to go and click on this other tab very carefully. Now I need to just select all of these accounts. So I have a lot of them. So to quickly do this, I'm going to click on the first one and then do control shift arrow key down to highlight all of them. I'm going to press F4 immediately to be able to lock this range. So I'm going to press F4. So now you want to watch this formula bar on top here. See, I have one, two, three, four dollar signs. That range is locked. And what you don't want to do at this point is click back on the other tab. You just want to go back to this formula tab and just finish this formula. So I'm going to go here. That's my array of lookup. I'm going to do comma. Now this is going to be exact match. So zero. I'm going to close parentheses for my match function, but I also need to close another parentheses for my is number function. So here's another one. So I'm doing some extra spaces here. You don't need those spaces. So I'm just doing those to make this more readable, but it's really up to you. So at this point, I'm going to hit enter and this should return me back to this tab. So true means we were able to find that account on the other tab. If I double click to send this down, you'll see that all the trues are the people we were able to find on the other tab and false are the people that we were not. So at this point, you can go ahead and apply your filter, data filter and filter this down to falses. We can say that everything that's false, it is not on the other tab. So I'm going to clear this filter. I'm going to delete this column actually. This is fine if you're going to do this only once. But what if you're routinely doing this on a regular basis? And you need to keep repeating this over and over and over. You have to do this formula. You have to drag it down. You have to go back and filter. And then you'll have to decide what you're going to do with this list. So instead, what you can do to make this process easier next time as you're going through this is use Power Query. So Power Query is an add-on for Excel 2010 and 2013. This is available only for Windows, by the way. If you're on Excel 2016 or up, it should be available by default under your Data tab. So when you click on your Data tab, if you're on Excel 2016, you will see a section around here in this area that will be just those functionalities. In my case, I'm on 2013, so I have this add-on installed. I'm going to link to this add-on in the description. If you need to download and install it, you could. So let's do this using this option instead of using our match or VLOOKUP. 